G'day all. Are you looking to get started with Claud AI but don't know where to begin? Well, you've come to the right place. In today's video, we are going to give you a beginner's guide on using this promising new AI assistant. First up, if you do not know, Claud 2.1 is an AI assistant from Anthropic that you can converse with and get assistance from with large sets of information. It has a 150,000 word context window allowing for analysis and summarization of extra large documents like financial statements or code bases. This is only part of the paid Claude Pro version at $20 per month though. On the free version, you will get roughly 75,000 words allowed. This is still multiple times more than ChatGPT and Googlebot, which are limited to roughly 1,000 to 4,000 words depending on which one you use. Although Claude 2.1 boasts up to 30% more accuracy, there is still a warning that mistakes and inaccuracies can occur, as it is not 100% correct all the time. So I would still recommend that you double check facts before using the information in any official capacity. Claude 2 does not have direct access to the internet, but it is trained on data accurate up to 2023, unlike Googlebot and Bing Chat that searches the web for answers. By the way, do you know why the user broke up with Claude AI? Because every time they asked about relationships, Claude kept saying, I'm just not programmed for commitment. <laughs> just kidding. Just had to add a little humor to lighten things up. To start your experience with Claude, just search for it on Google or head to the official site by clicking on the link in the description below. Once there, you can click on the Talk to Claude button. You will then go through a sign up process where you will have to provide an email address or sign up with your Google account. The process will ask you a few initial questions. And once you are done, you will be presented with a Claude 2 chat interface. At this stage, you can start conversing with Claude and asking it questions by typing your query into the chat box. Right off the bat, it provides some suggestions on what you can ask it to do as well. You can ask it to suggest some recipes based on certain ingredients that you have available. Or you can ask it to suggest worthwhile sites to see in an area that you are going to take a trip to. Claude also remembers its own responses as well as all your inputs. This means that you can converse with it and ask it questions based on previous responses so you don't have to start from scratch each time you ask a question. You can, for example, ask it to provide you with a brief explanation on how a typical car engine works. After it has responded, you can ask it follow-up questions based on the response you received in a conversational manner as you would with any person. It will respond as it keeps track of previous interactions. At the top middle of the screen, you have the option to change the title of the chat so that you can easily refer back to it at a later stage as well. In the chat bar, you will also see a paperclip icon which allows you to attach documents in PDF, TXT or CSV formats. This allows you to make use of the one defining feature of Claude, which is to interact and extract information out of the document you uploaded without having to read through all of it. This functionality makes Claude quite unique as it is not provided on Google Bard or ChatGPT. You can ask Claude to summarize the key points of the document, or you can ask it questions about the information in the document. This is invaluable functionality to students and teachers, researchers, and basically all parents. Definitely counting myself here as well. With Claude, you can only have this feature by uploading the document though. If you want a tool that can do this on basically any web page, there is a Chrome extension called harper.ai which uses ChatGPT to provide this type of functionality in regards to any web page or document opened in your browser. If you want more information on that, please see my video on how to use hopper.ai by clicking on the link in the top right hand corner or in the description below. On the free version of Claude, there is a usage limit though on the amount of messages you can send. It is displayed under the chat bar on the main screen and is reset daily. If you want to remove this, you will have to consider upgrading to the Pro version. Alternatively, you will have to make use of ChatGPT or Google Bard. You can click on the links in the top right or top left hand corner to be taken to my videos on those. I will also leave links in the description below if you want to go through those videos. Claude AI is a versatile tool that to this reviewer seems to be most useful to analyze and summarize large portions of text. The message limits are a bit frustrating though, especially if you've gotten used to ChatGPT and Googlebot, but it does seem more concise and accurate than either the aforementioned. Give it a try and let us know in the comments if you have any questions. That's it for this video. I hope you found some value from this guide. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more useful guides and reviews on all things tech. Have a nice day and I will catch you in the next tech update.